Trump has declared that the U.S. is withdrawing troops from Syria. Is that a good thing? Hi, right, thanks for watching. Today I want to talk about the end of the war, at least for the U.S., in Syria. Now, there may be a little crackle in the audio today. That's because I lit up a fire and I got myself a glass of wine. I think this is fantastic news that he's decided to end the war for the U.S. in Syria. So, cheers. And I think this is something to celebrate. Um, that's why I started a fire in my fireplace. Uh, let's go to the fireplace cam. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Now, you would think that most of the media would be happy about ending a war and bringing American troops home. But the coverage of it, well, it's a little unbalanced. First, let's take a look at the announcement from President Trump. We've been fighting for a long time in Syria. I've been president for almost two years, and we've really stepped it up. And we have won against ISIS. We've beaten them, and we've beaten them badly. We've taken back the land, and now it's time for our troops to come back home. I get very saddened when I have to write letters or call parents or wives or husbands of soldiers who have been killed fighting for our country. It's a great honor. We cherish them, but it's heartbreaking. There's no question about it. It's heartbreaking. Now we've won. It's time to come back. They're getting ready. You're going to see them soon. These are great American heroes. These are great heroes of the world because they fought for us, but they've killed ISIS, who hurts the world. And we're proud to have done it. And I'll tell you, they're up there looking down on us. And there is nobody happier or more proud of their families to put them in a position where they've done such good for so many people. So our boys, our young women, our men, they're all coming back, and they're coming back now. We won, and that's the way we want it, and that's the way they want it. Okay, so that was President Trump's announcement uh, earlier on Wednesday. And the coverage since then is mixed. Now, let's take a look at what some of the mainstream media are reporting. From ABC News, we have a, an article here. Trump orders U.S. troops to leave Syria as White House declares victory over ISIS there. Well, that seems right down the middle, at least in the headline. How about CBS? Oh, it's their top story. Trump orders withdrawal of troops from Syria. And they have a, a video package. Nice. What about, uh, what about NBC? Nothing, but they got some stories on some, you know, Russia hysteria. I guess ending a war isn't big enough to make the, the news for NBC. How about MSNBC? What did they say about ending the war? Oh, the article that they have is from the Rachel Maddow show. Uh, Senator McCaskill, Trump wildly irresponsible, very dangerous on Syria. So they've got a, a nice negative story about ending the war. Okay. All right. Well, what about uh, the other cable news? What about uh, Fox News? Nothing on it uh, on the top of the page, but if we scroll down through about uh, 40 or 50 articles, they do have this article, Trump pulling all U.S. troops from Syria, declaring IS defeat. Now, I, I think IS is Islamic State, they could have fit it in the uh, headline there. I'm not sure why they didn't, because it, uh, it's confusing, especially considering that not everyone knows what, what that abbreviation is. And we've got a nice picture of uh, Senator Lindsey Graham looking at his phone, because that's the important thing when it comes to ending a war. Let's top it off with the best, most reliable, right down the middle of the road news source, CNN. Yeah, we've got an article, Senior Administrative Official, A Mistake of Colossal Proportions. So, one negative story about ending the war. Ah, breaking news, resistance to Trump's move to withdraw U.S. troops from Syria was strong among some 
in the administration. So we have a second negative story about ending a war. Uh, Graham trumps Syria withdrawal, a stain on the honor of the United States. So third negative story. Senator Graham, fake news to say ISIS defeated. So a fourth negative story. Okay, let's see what else. Oh, Trump's Syria withdrawal hurts Netanyahu and U.S. reputation, Israelis say. So a fifth negative story. GOP senators give Pence earful on Syria. So six Six negative stories. Opinion, Trump's bizarre decision on Syria. So that'd be the seventh negative story. Analysis, Trump is leaving the fight against ISIS and its influence in the Middle East to Russia and Iran. I I think that's the eighth negative story. And opinion, the walls are closing in on Trump. Well, they say that every week, so I won't count that. But there's at least eight negative stories about the president ending a war. Not a single story on CNN just stating the facts. They're all negative. Every single story. And that's the thing that gets me is we often hear that CNN is liberal or that they're the left. They're not the left. They're they're certainly not the left. They don't care for Trump. I'm not saying that they're the right. But the left used to mean something. It used to be against the war. And from what I can see, at least from CNN and most of the mainstream media, they're all pro-war. They're also all pro-bank. They're all pro-status quo. And it seems they're against you and me. Now, I know I may take some heat for my opinion on ending the war, but I just want to say that I'm glad that Trump followed through on one of his campaign promises to end the war in Syria, and I I salute him for that. I think that that is a great thing that he has done. But as always, I look forward to your thoughts in the comments. Peace. 2018 is almost over. Help me reach my goal of 2,500 subscribers by clicking the like button, subscribing, sharing, all that good stuff. Peace.